Hello kids! We are already in our English 4, Quarter 4, Week 3 with the title, Distinguishing Fact from Opinion in a Narrative. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Distinguish Fact from Opinion in a Narrative. Let's have a drill! Each sentence states either a fact or an opinion. Write F if the sentence expresses a fact and O if it is an opinion. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in 1876. His first words were, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to. Number 2. A telephone can change the sound of your voice. Your voice sounds richer and fuller. Number 3. A public telephone is more troublesome to use than a private one. Number 4. A telephone's microphone turns your voice into electrical signals. Number 5. Some people put air freshener in the telephone's mouthpiece. It removes bad odor on the used telephone. Let's have a review. Read the riddle and write your action on a piece of paper. I'm blue and green and a little brown. I am a small planet with life all around. They call me the third rock from the sun. I don't have many moons, just one. Who am I? Here is an example of what will be your reaction to the said riddle. The riddle the Mother Earth tells about how the Earth looks like. I like how the Earth was described. You will know that it is Earth because it is the only planet with life. The purpose of the author is to inform and entertain the readers at the same time. Let's read! The locust is related to grasshopper. Locusts probably are the stronger than grasshoppers. They live in big swarms. Locusts are large herbivorous insects. Locusts are destructive. They destroy fields of rice plants, corn, and other crops. Other countries believe they eat and destroy everything in their way. Some people believe locusts are the tastiest insects. What is the article all about? What are the facts about the locust? What do other people believe about locust? Which of the ideas about locusts do you agree is true? Which of the ideas about locusts do you disagree? Write in column A the ideas about locusts that are true and in column B the ideas about locusts that some people believe. Here are the answers in column A. The locust is related to grasshopper. They live in big swarms. Locusts are large herbivorous insects. Locusts are destructive. They destroy fields of rice plants, corn, and other crops. Here are the answers in column B. Locusts probably are stronger than grasshoppers. Other countries believe they eat and destroy everything in their way. Some people believe locusts are the tastiest insects. So how are we going to differentiate the fact from opinion? A fact refers to something that can be verified or proved to be true. 
It is based on research or observation. It is something that really happened. It is also a universal truth. Also used unbiased words like numbers, names, places, and dates. Examples, apples are fruit. Dogs and cats are pets. Jose Rizal was born on June 19, 1861 in Calamba, Laguna. How about the opinion? Opinion refers to a judgment or belief of someone. It is an assumption or personal view. It could be a perception of something. This could differ from person to person. It could be expressed with biased words like think, maybe, feel, believe, probably, best, worst, favorite. Examples, I think apple is the best fruit. We believe dogs are better pets than cats. Maybe Jose Rizal lived longer if he didn't study abroad. Practice number one. Read the article, write fact if it is true or it really happened in the story, or opinion if it is what someone thinks or believes. It was almost Halloween, and Maria still hadn't thought of a costume. Her sister Luisa was going as a hot dog, and Maria thought that was the best idea ever. Luisa always took Maria to trick or treat, and they always had costumes that went together. But this year, Luisa had been too busy with her friends to help Maria with a costume. Maria didn't know what to do. Maria was looking in some magazines for costume ideas when her mom asked her to go with her to the grocery store. The store, in the Halloween candy aisle, Maria saw a tall pointed red hat that gave her a great idea. The hat only cost 90 pesos, so Maria's mom bought it for her. Maria skipped all the way to the car. She had a costume. She was going to be a ketchup. 1. Maria thought Luisa's costume was great. 2. Luisa's costume was a hot dog. 3. Luisa had been too busy to help Maria. 4. Maria was happy about her costume idea. 5. The red hat cost 90 pesos. 8. A fact is a statement proven true. It does not change no matter who says it. While an opinion is something a person feels or thinks, it is a personal view not supported by proof. Let's have practice number two. Read the paragraphs, then identify the statement if it is a fact or an opinion. When the chick is in the shell, it needs to breathe. The air seeps through tiny holes in the shell. Then, the air passes through a thin skin inside the shell. Blood vessels carry the air to the chick. At one end of the shell is an air bubble. When the chick is ready to hatch, it pops this bubble. Then it practices using its lungs to breathe. Chicks look funny when they are hatched. 1. The air seeps through tiny holes in the shell. 2. Blood vessels carry the air to the chicks. 3. Chicks look funny when they hatch. 4. Chicks need air to breathe even inside the shell. 5. Some people enjoy eating chicks in the shell. Here are the answers.
For evaluation, distinguish if the statement is fact or opinion. 1. The weather in the Philippines is always changing. 2. Orange is my favorite color. 3. Tsunami is dangerous. 4. I really enjoyed the basketball game last weekend. 5. There are 12 months in a year. 6. Sunday is the best day of the week. 7. Everyone should make Valentine's Day cards. 8. Your birthday comes only once a year. 9. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are weekdays. 10. This has been a terrible week. Here are the answers. What's your score? Can you comment down your score in our comment box so that I'll see? For the reinforcement, as you read the TV commentator's report on the official age of voters, identify each sentence whether it is a fact or an opinion. Write your answers on a piece of paper. The Philippine Constitution rules that 18 years is the voting age. I think that is a lot of nonsense. Many young people below 18 years old are mature and sensible enough. Some of those beyond that age has no sense of responsibility. The Traffic Bureau, however, reports that a large number of road accidents involve young drivers. Statistics from insurance companies also make the conclusion that drivers in the 16 to 18 years old bracket have more accidents than drivers in the 21 to 25 years old bracket. This is why they have to prescribe a special rate for young drivers. Many of the old citizens say that voting age should be 21 years. I think they are right, but what the constitution rules should be implemented? Here are the answers. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from our lesson. See you next week!